Hello and welcome to the Obsession Engineering Control Bunker, where the magic happens. Today I'm going to be removing the brakes from my S1000RR race bike and servicing the calipers. The last couple of times I've ridden the bike I've noticed that there's a little bit too much lever travel for my liking and I believe this is to do with piston pullback caused by the caliper seals either being a bit worn or potentially having a little bit of dirt or corrosion underneath them. I clean the brakes very regularly on the bike, but they just don't feel perfect. So I'm going to take them apart, have a bit of a look and replace the seals. So sit back, relax and enjoy watching a man getting slightly dirty fingers. This is the brake setup on my S1000RR. I'm actually not using the original calipers, I'm actually using Brembo M4 calipers. Um, almost entirely just because they work better with these uh, Brembo discs that are on me Marchesini wheels. Also an advantage that the pads actually last longer and cost less. The only issue I've got at the moment is, when I pull the brake lever, I'm getting quite a lot of movement before, the, uh, before I get any bite. Now what I think is happening is, when I pull the lever, obviously the pads, the pistons in the caliper, move onto the disc to create your braking force. Now, they're meant to be, and they're meant to pull back a little bit on the seals. That's how they're supposed to work, and it just pulls the pad back off the disc when you release, when you release the pressure. Now, the problem is if the pistons have got any dirt underneath the seals, or any corrosion, the seals can nip the piston too much and they can rock too much and, and you, leave, you lose a little bit of lever travel while they take up the slack. What I believe has happened, because the pistons are cleaned every meeting or every couple of days, what I believe is happening is condensation a little bit like you're seeing on this brake pipe here. I believe there's a condensation build-up around the seals and that may be causing a little bit of uh, corrosion where the pistons sit. So I'm going to strip the whole brake system off and I'm going to fit new piston, uh, new seals for the pistons in the calipers. I've got the whole brake setup sat on the bench because I didn't want to take the calipers off on the bike and end up with brake fluid all over bits of the bike because it's horrible stuff. So in a bit more controlled environment I can put it all on the bench and what I'm going to do is remove the two calipers, just take them off the uh, lines here, they can go in the tray, then I can move these bits out of the way, and then I'm actually going to strip all the pads out and probably use an air line to pop the pistons out one by one. What I'm doing here is I'm just splitting the brake lines off the calipers, putting the lines out of the way, pouring away the excess fluid so we're not uh, firing it everywhere when we pop the pistons out, give everything a quick clean over and then double check the instructions to make sure the seals don't go a certain way round. Because I'm going to have to take the pistons out one by one, what I would normally do is cable tie each piston a bit like this, but due to shutdown issues I'm currently short on cable ties. So what I'm going to do with the other pistons is, if I hold this uh, socket in between the other pistons, that will stop those popping out. So then this one piston on its own should just pop out with the airline. Um, before I start I shall be putting on a, uh, a mask and uh, eye protection because we're going to end up blowing uh, brake fluid dust uh, vapour everywhere which isn't very nice stuff so sensible precautions need to be taken. As soon as I put the airline on the piston pops out nice and easily. I give it a good check over to make sure there's no damage or scoring or anything on the piston itself. And then it's back to the caliper and get my little pick out and remove the seals. That's the first piston out and you can see these two grooves here are where the seals sit. I've picked the seals out already. The little groove at the front is for the dust seal, the main groove behind it is the sort of oil seal. Um, the dust seal had a couple of really tiny bits of dirt behind it, so I've cleaned those out, given it a bit of a spray with some brake cleaner. Now I'll just blow it dry and then smear the new seals with a little bit of uh, grease and pop those in and then pop the piston back in and move on to the next one. First caliper, I'm on to the last seal and in the main oil seal you can just see at the back of there there's a bit of... Uh, bit of dirt or corrosion or something 
built up that's just just making the seal hang on a little bit so I'm just going to very carefully try and pick that out and then we can put this one back together all the other pistons are moving really nice and freely now with new seals so we shall finish this one off then move on to the other caliper that's the first caliper now complete I did even have to use the jaws because it kept popping one of the uh, cable ties off so I just held the jaws just to keep one of the pistons from uh, moving too much when we started pushing the next one out and just that couple of tiny little pieces of imperfection that were just holding the seals a little bit when when you're on the limit and you really really need that last one percent it, it does make a difference so this is why we we do these jobs that's both calipers refurbished new seals and bits in them every all the pistons are moving perfectly the second caliper just had one dust seal with a tiny little bit of dirt behind it again so i've just loosely put the lines on with new uh, copper washers just so we don't dribble fluid everywhere and now i'm going to go and refit it all to the bike i've got the calipers and everything refitted to the bike i'm now about to bleed them up I'm using Motel RBF 660 high temperature proper racing brake fluid. It is a dot four, but it's excellent. And obviously the higher the boiling point, the less chance of brake fade you've got. So I shall be using that to bleed everything up. Due to half the system being full of air when we started, they can be quite a pain to bleed up. So I tend to start at the mass cylinder, then go down and do each caliper one by one, and then just keep going around the whole system bit by bit until we've got all of the air out of it. Brakes are now all finished bleeding up. I've even moved it back to the 18mm uh, ratio. These RCSs are adjustable and that just alters where the pivot point is. The 18 gives you, generally, I find, a little bit more feel. Um, and before I'd had to move it to the 20, but even on the 18, the lever's immediate, which is excellent. So I'll probably have to just actually adjust that off a little bit. But everything's working exactly as it should. I ended up actually having to bleed out the top port first. And ended up with a little piece of uh, pipe out of there so I could actually see any air bubbles coming out of it. It did take a while to bleed up to get the air pushing through the calipers. But now that it's done, there is no pad pushback at all on there. Or none more than you would expect. And that's an excellent job. It's just nice to know that they're now 100%. A couple of little finishing touches. I use a little bit of uh, fuel pipe just here cable tied to hold the uh, to hold the brake line exactly where I want it so it doesn't foul anything so I'll do that on both sides and tie it in the middle obviously I've got the uh, traction control cable cable tied to it as well and that's it a set of brakes that are as good as new thanks for watching and hopefully we will continue to bring you some interesting motorbike videos if you found this one interesting